Hi, it's my time to shine. I will be covering the Aries reading from November the 1st to November the 7th. I'll be picking one card for each day. Take what resonate and leave the rest. This is not going to be for every resonate. I said if it resonate. It's not going to be for every Aries, but it's going to resonate for some. This lecture got me confused. Laugh out loud. Universe, spirit, guide, please give me wisdom to read these readings accurately, officially, and you I will always trust. Amen. Universe, spirit, guide, holy angels, please tell Aries what they need to know from November the 1st to November the 7th, 2020. What do Aries need to know? Two more cards, please. What do Aries need to know? November the 1st to November the 7th, 2020. Two more cards, please. What do Aries need to know for November the 1st to November to come out on my system? What do Aries need to know? That's a lot of cards. I mean, he come back out. What do Aries need to know for November the 1st to November the 7th, 2020? What do Aries... Take a chakra oracle card. What do too many? I'm not doing that. One card. Wow. Hmm. Okay. From the gate, y'all reading look kind of great for the Aries. The first card I'm going to go to will be passion for your chakras. And I'm laughing because I know Aries that um their heart chakra is shut. Like they don't got time for passion or nothing. And it says desire, fun, fulfillment, and joy is what y'all need. Bottom line. That's crazy. I'm going to read it to you guys. Maybe it'll wake some people I know up. Which is number 25. Sometimes we get stuck on the treadmill of trying to get somewhere or be someone based on external pressures and expectations. We get stuck in our daily life routine so long that we forget what we are passionate about. We put aside things we really love to do with the justification that once we do X, get this job, achieve this goal, earn this, then we will have the freedom and power to do what we really want to do. What if you knew that your greatest point of power to truly live the life you came to live was resting in it? Mm, excuse me, resting in the very center of that which you love the most. It's time to give yourself permission to do more of the things that truly make you come alive. To remember what used to make you throw back the sheets in the morning and leap into the day. And to find a way to reunite the energy in your life now. What brings a spark to your eye and lightens to your step? What fills your body with such excitement that it opens a, small, a smile deep in your soul? It is true that love has power to heal all wounds and open all doors, but it's our passion that allows us to leap through to the other side. When we immerse our, ourselves in what we really love, we awaken a part of ourselves that is connected to the very pulse the pulse of life and everything just seems to flow. It's like our soul takes over and we feel interweaved with a power to further desire and drive. Mm, I'm thirsty. We get swept up letting go of time, worries, and restrictions. We come away feeling rejuvenated and connected to an energy that washes over into our other areas of our life. 
By engaging in our passion, we become the energy of passion, transferable and highly contagious wherever we go. Find ways to reunite your daily life with things that you are passionate about, and the energy of your inner light will begin to lead you on a bright and bold new path of expression in the world. Follow the pulse of your passion. I just get read something like this, basically, um, for the Virgos, basically telling they need sex. But theirs is the root chakra. Yours is the heart. Desire, fun, fulfillment, and joy. And these colors is green and pink. That's your heart chakra. Your heart chakra is closed. It needs to open. Like, regardless of the situation, you probably need fun, sex, everything. It's, it's, it's shut. And that's the worst thing to have a heart that's shut. You got to open it. Like, that's a part of life. You also got the situation will approve. So whatever's going on in your life, because I don't want to get the book on this because I kind of know these. I did these cards so much. But whatever you're thinking about, Divine is telling you that the situation is going to get better. It is going to improve. Things will turn out the way they need to. Right now, everything is a divine timing. It's not in your time. So stop worrying. Stop stressing. Try Stop trying to make things what it ain't and trying to do this. It's not going to work until the divine will want it to work. So it's going to improve. It's just going to take a little time. That's one card. You also got if you believe. If you believe in God and the divine, everything's going to turn out the way it needs to be anyway. That's why you got this card if you believe just like your heart chakra if you believe you could receive love and give love open that heart up because that's just not good that's scary now the first card you have for november the first is the two of rods which is you got the whole world in your hands this is your energy aries sagittarius and leo you also got for november 2nd the king of pentacles you could be dealing with a capricorn taurus virgo or a taurus virgo or capricorn or this is you you just the king of pentacles you just the king bottom line you also got for november the third the sun happiness pure happiness this is the best card in the whole fucking deck that you got and you see the wand to make everything happy like you're happy you see a kid there it could be a kid involved um riding a pony or that could have been you as a young kid but this is a card that's straight happiness you got everything that you want you're going to have everything you want you have that you have the happiest card of the deck. On November the 4th, you got partnership, relationship, and friendship. You coming together in a partnership, you, both minds is likewise. So this could be a partnership or it could be a relationship that y'all both of y'all divine, y'all divinely guided to be together in some type of aspect because your heads is together. It's just y'all got to come together as one and that's just from the divine because you see the green and the red chakra that's the heart chakra and then that's the root chakra so y'all gotta come as one and it's crazy because you got the passion card basically that you gotta open your heart to receive this union is coming into one in some type of relationship partnership or friendship or this could be one person that give you all of these entries you have for the seven of cups for the fifth of November some confusion and choices that you gotta get together. It's some things that you have to make a choice about in this confusion because you're not sure what's in these cups. November the fifth, you cutting through bullshit with clarity and truth of a situation. Bottom line, and this is clarity and truth. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, a Libra, and then on the seventh. You have the star. Something you hope and wish for is coming true. Everything, patience, everything, everything that you want is coming to fruition. You also have the growth card. It's time for you maybe to, maybe you got to start growing up more or you need more growth in your life is what it's saying. You also have for the angel whispers, peace is just a thought away. If you open your mind, peace is right near you. You don't have to go somewhere for peace. You can get it in your own body. You also have positive changes that are taking place. Be patient. Everything is coming to divine timing. So this reading was good. What I see here is you got everything that you want in your hands. You the king of pentacles. You, you got everything you want. You just sit there. You got shit in order. You got the happiest card of the deck. You got everything that you want. You got a kid here, which this kid could indicate a couple things that maybe you could have a kid on the way or a kid would be coming into your future but it's the happiest card of the deck it's going to make you happy and this partnership relationship and friendship is going to make you happy as well but you got to open your heart because it needs to be some passion involved in this relationship friendship or something because you got passion this is a, a relationship it got to have passion it's not going to stand without no passion 
You also got confusion and choices that need to be done by the fifth. Whatever's going on, you got to make a choice. And it seems like you have to make it kind of fast because it's it's a lot going on. But you cutting through that bullshit. It seems like you making that choice because this is from the universe, clarity and truth. And there's something you hope and wish for that you have. And positive changes is on its way for your life. So it could be the person that you're coming into contact with. As you see, the two heads is divinely guided. It's something that's meant to be. So, this is for my Aries, and usually, like, they already is be wild, but, you know, it is what it is. Peace, light, and blessings.